We're back with another Pico CTF challenge. This time, strings it. Description, can you find the flag in file, we'll download that file, without running it? And our hint is strings, which I've already brought up. It's the man page for strings, which says, prints the strings of printable characters in files. For each file given, GNU string prints the printable character sequences that are at least four characters long and are followed by an unprintable character. So what does that mean? What is an unprintable character? Is that like a blasphemy? Well, if we look at an ASCII table, we can see all the different defined mappings of a byte. Well, a value up to 128. A byte can be up to 255, but these are the ones that ASCII uses. And printable characters are things like A, B, C, lowercase h, exclamation point. Those are all printable. Things like start of heading, bell, acknowledge, backspace, device control in, you can see all the different uh, number values that are assigned to this. Those would be considered unprintable characters. So something that was like C, A, T, S, unprintable character, that would be printed out by strings. It's also important to realize that to a computer, everything, every file is just a series of numbers. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to run XSD, which is a hex editor or a hex viewer actually on this distribution.tgz file. You can think of it like a zip. And I'm going to pipe that into less, just so we have paged output and it doesn't just all stream by. And I'm gonna show you. So this can be overwhelming, but don't worry, it's actually really simple. On the far left, you have the addresses of the different offsets into the file. So this is the very beginning. So the start of the file, this is 16 bytes into the file, 32 bytes, this is all in hex. Then you have the content. So this is what I was talking about when I said everything in a file is just a series of numbers. This is what the computer sees. But this can also be interpreted in ASCII, which is what you see at the far right, as sometimes printable characters. So for example, 44, uh, CF, 63, 6B, this all makes the word Docker file. So what strings is gonna do is it's going to run over all the numbers in this file, and it's going to say, is this a printable character? And if so, it's going to say, is there another printable character after it? Another? Another? Okay, I've hit four now. Now I want to print this out because it's probably something meaningful, and I'll keep printing these out until I hit an unprintable character. So now we'll run strings, and this is strings the executable on strings the file that I just downloaded. I know, kind of confusing, but... That's okay. And this is what I was talking about when I said this is, I'm piping it to less because did you see how things just flew by us? We could go back and we could scroll through it, but I would prefer to page down each time and see what's going on. So we get the first page and we don't see anything meaningful here. We press space. We don't see anything meaningful here. And we're gonna keep going, pressing space, going through the output of strings. And as you can imagine, this could take a long time for a large file. So I'm going to introduce something else because this is already boring even to me. I'm going to pipe it to grep, which is a way of searching. And I'm going to search for Pico. And we're going to see what we find. And we find a flag, Pico CTF string it. So let's copy that over and let's submit it. So the important takeaways from this, guys, is a file is just a series of numbers that can be interpreted in many different ways and something like strings can interpret it as printable characters and it can look for meaningful values like the flag. Hopefully that was helpful to you. If it was, please like, subscribe, comment, do all those good YouTube things. Appreciate it. Bye.